All right, we're going to talk about the coins that I found in Coinstar first throughout the year of 2022. My Australian coins are my most recent pulls from Coinstar as well. Got Australia. I'm um, not sure what... Let me look at what these are. This one's a, this one's a Caribbean coin. This is... This is a New Zealand coin. These two, I these three, I believe, are from Turkey. Here's one from Singapore. This one looks like it's from Trinidad right here. It says Trinidad on it. Not sure where these ones are. These. I can't read it. I'm not sure where these three coins are from. My eyes are getting worse as I get older. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where that coin is from either. This this coin is from the United Arab of Emirates. This is from India. These three are from France, and th three more are from the Philippines, and then there's Italian ones up there, and then I have a whole bunch of these European coins. I think they're all from the same place. <laughs> I could be wrong. I know several years ago they switched to euros, so I'm guessing all of these coins are from the same country, but I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. These have different designs on all of them, but they have the same opposite side. So do correct me if I'm wrong. And then I have these coins right here. I think those, I'm not entirely sure where those three coins are from. I think this one, not entirely sure. Okay, now we're going to go over here. Here are seven coins that I know nothing about at all, so I couldn't tell you where any of these are from. I think these two right here are Japanese coins. And this one right here is Malaysia. This one right here is from Malaysia. We have a Kenya coin right here. Not sure where that this coin is from, though. I think these are two more Japanese coins. Correct me if I'm wrong. And maybe some Korean ones. Were, I think these might be Korean ones. I could also be wrong on that as well. Okay, we got some Dutch coins here. This is a 1951 right here. A couple more. Uh, another 1951. Some older ones here. These are interesting coins right here. I like the design on these. Not sure what country they're from, though. So please enlighten me if you know. We have some more coins here. I think that I think this one's Japanese, but I'm not entirely sure. And we have my huge stacks of Canadian coins. Some of them with fantastic designs also, instead of the generic ones. And then th this one's an old one, I do believe. This one is 19... 1953, it looks like, a, or 1955. I think it's 1955, actually. Very worn date, but we got, we got Alberta quarter. We have... Um, an April quarter and another another fun little quarter there. And then we have the 2010 quarter here. Then we got a fun little multi-sided nickel from 1958 and then 1941. We got lots of nickels here. Then we have the $2 coin, I believe, and then the $1 coin right there. Then we have, I think this is the Bicentennial Penny, but I'm not, I'm not sure. 
No, it's the 100-year coin penny, it looks like. Then we have a 1921 penny, the oldest coin I found this year in Coinstar. And then the, the guy right here, these are from the 40s and early 50s, right here. And then we got stacks of Canadian pennies, which is amazing. Now we're going to move on to Belize. We have Belize right here. We have three Bahama coins. We have Bermuda even. And we have Guatemala up here. And we have some uh, Mexican coins here. $10, $50, $1, $2, $5, $10 even. Hello. And then we have some older Hispanic coins here too. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, these, I think these are the old versions of uh, Mexican coins, honestly. And then we have um, two coins here. Not sure where they're from. And I don't know anything about that coin here. The coin on top here. Not sure about that coin at all. But it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. So got lots, lots of coins from Coinstar this year. All right, now we're going to move on to coins that um, customers used at my register at work. Um, coins that I picked up from the bank, uh, the bank drop-offs. And, um, and also, a, lo a lot of these coins have come from Coinstar 2. This pile of silver here, all Coinstar. These wheat pennies were either from Coinstar, a register, or the bank drop-offs. These were from a register. These are 1960 through 1980 coins right here. They're just so shiny. All, most of them are all shiny, so I decided to keep those for the copper value. And then, of course, a 1969 dime. I had to set that aside. That was hilarious. And then we have a ton of Mercs. A ton of Mercs and Roosevelt's here. Some of these maybe have come from Coinstar, but $12.40 worth of these a customer used to buy a 24-pack of Mountain Dew. Pretty awesome. Here we have uh, silver quarters here. Uh, uh, a lot of them came from my bank drop-offs. A couple of them came from Coinstar, but most of them came from my bank drop-offs. Every, every Monday we get coins. And then I love bicentennials. So sometimes I, I do like to pull these out of circulation sometimes, but sometimes I'm just too busy. I can't pull them out of circulation and put them in my coin collection. Um, I know bicentennials aren't particularly valuable at all. They're incredibly common. So that's why I don't always pick them up for my collection. So, all right. Now, last year was a great beginning to my year. Last year, the first two days, I think, the first two coin drop-offs I got uh, yielded a bunch of uh, V-nickels. A gold-plated one, I researched that, and they, they had a set of gold-plated ones, so that was kind of a, a... Well, I don't know if it's real gold or anything. I think, I think this one looks like gold paint or whatever, but it looks like it could have come from the, the, gold, the gold set they did uh, a while ago. And these are V-nickels. We got... 1902, 1901, 1907, 1912. On the back, they'll have a, a big, a big V. It's interesting to note, out of the entire year, I only had one buffalo nickel pull from the bank deposit, and I had four of the V nickels. That was a pretty good, a pretty good year. This uh, buffalo nickel, I believe, looks like it's from 19. I know it's from the 30s because I see I see a three there. What well, looks like a three. But it's it's in the 30s somewhere. Could be a 35 actually. Oh well. Alright. These steel pennies came from Coinstar. All of them are steel. I did this I did the, the, the steel test with a magnet. They're all steel. They all came from Coinstar in one haul, which is amazing. Now I want to talk about these lovely, um, got a 1963, 1961, uh, 19, another 1961, and see the backside? I wanted to show off the backside because it was amazing. And a 19, another 1963. So two 1963s and two 1961 proof quarters. Those were all in an entire bag of quarters for my bank drop-off. I'm surprised they were in such stellar condition, to be, to be honest. 
And we have a John Quincy Adams. This one was from Coinstar. This is a proof as well. Um, we have some 80% uh, silver. Um, no, these are this 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 one is 40% silver Kennedy. The rest the rest of them are just regular Kennedys. We got a bunch of bicentennial Kennedys. This looks like a proof half dollar I pulled out, and we got some 80% uh, silver Kennedys I bought from a customer. These Morgan dollars and these uh, Peace dollars, a lady tried using in Coinstar, but she exchanged them for for cash. 29 of these Eisenhower dollars came from Coinstar, which is amazing. And a lot of and these gold gold dollar coins I, I purchased from registers or found in Coinstar as well. The, I love this stack. It looks like Scrooge McDuck or or that one that one duck from that cartoon that hoards gold. Hilarious. Love it. And then I pulled these out of circulation too. This 1957 was a great one. I, I found seven $20 bills from my register that are really old. And I found this... Ooh, don't want to ruin it. I found this low star note from a register and bought it. Well, my camera is running out of time. I just wanted to just show you what I got. These are my new storage bins for all my coins for that for that year. Check this out. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching.